So, my name is Patrick. I work for a company called Selinko, which was launched uh, eight to ten months ago. What we do is object identification. So, the, the, the concept is to place on objects like this bottle of wine a digital certificate behind the label, and, uh, and you can access the label or the content of that, that digital certificate with an NFC phone. So, I'm going to try to make a demo. Let's see if it works. So, you. Can you see? Shout if you can see. Okay. So I'm launching the application. So, logo. so I just scan the, um, the bottle. So I'm checking on our server uh, over there in Belgium. And then I get the identity, the content of the uh, of the, the, the identity certificate. So our market is mainly uh, luxury goods um, where we uh, we basically protect them against anti counterfeiting what, what you're doing here is basically at the same security level as a bank transaction. And so uh, we have, for example, today in our customers the most expensive winery in the world. So now that you this anti counterfeiting is um, is one thing you can do once you've identified objects. You can actually do far more. I'm going to show you that if you actually sign in the system, so I'll just sign in, you can access to a whole range of other services. So I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay. And I'm getting my, my bag this time. Which where we inserted the, uh, a chip in there. And so I'm scanning the bag this time. And so again, I'm, uh, I'm checking on the, on the servers and then you, you access additional information, such as, for example, the, um, the ownership. So I've registered this as being mine. Um, we also have an anti-theft system, which means like your bag gets lost, you can declare it on our website. And so if someone scans the bag, you, it would actually be showing as stolen, and you would be informed of where it has been stolen. Store locator, which is kind of a direct marketing typical solution. Uh, you can add brand experience things, so you could push advertisement videos, whatever you want. And then a nice little tool which we call One Scan Buy, where, where you actually can purchase additional stuff, like if you want the wallet that goes with it, um, and, uh, and, and any additional things. So the concept here is really to, uh, to give, um, in the Internet of Things, as you know, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a booming place today, but, but I believe that in, uh, one of the main concerns is that actually, the no, objects, they don't talk. We saw a presentation about identity and identifying people, these objects you need to identify them and you need to be bloody sure that this bottle of wine is this bottle of wine and, and not another one. And so that's where we started the company from. We say you need, you need to put an, a digital certificate behind that and make sure once you have that identity, okay brands are very happy because you're fighting against counterfeiting, but you can start adding things. So the other point is as well, because it's a digital certificate, because what you're doing is pretty much what you do in a bank payment, you can, you can push it towards an online sales model where you scan, you scan the bottle and put it on eBay and the guy who's buying it is actually pretty sure that what he's buying is, the, is a genuine bottle and not something which was copied in China. So, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> and sorry, sorry for the complicated uh, construction. It worked? So, just for clarity's sake, so you have a chip in your bag, I have a chip in my bag. but your technology is is the is the back end of all of that. You're not a bag chip manufacturer, nope. are you? Uh, no, no. We have a secure platform. What we sell is the service to insert the, the, the chips in the bags or in the wines or whatever. And on top of that, the additional services that you saw, marketing services. So you actually fulfill. So if you had a bag company come to you and say, we want chips, you're doing that? Yeah. And we do it already. You do it already. Yeah. You have a big facility. You have people 
injecting chips into the things of the world? No, no, we, we, uh, we, we, insert our pro we insert the chips in their manufacturing processes. So we work with them, defining what they want, how they insert it, if it's manual, if it's industrialized. In one industry, it's pretty easy to industrialize. In the, in the bags market, it's a bit more complicated. Can you see? So is this an NFC chip you're scanning? It's not, I wasn't clear why we were scanning that. I'm sorry? Is it an NFC chip or are you scanning an image or what? It's an NFC chip, yeah. So it's passive RFID technology, so we put it on a bottle of wine and it will still be charged in 50 years because it's the full magnetic field which is charging the chip. What, what is the revenue model of your company? Um, we, we take a revenue based on uh, every item we put a chip on, we take a margin on the chip because we say we provide a service, a basic service which is identifying the object and protection against counterfeiting. So this is our first revenue stream. Second revenue stream is based on the services on top that we say. Hey, uh, this might seem like a weird question, but how do you prove to the rest of the world that you're not counterfeiting? <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 at, at the end of the day, it's about a yeah. trust environment, right? Absolutely. And you're a startup company, just yes. like many other people were startup companies when they were a counterfeit. Yep. So at the end of the day, you have to you have to prove, mm -hmm. and then you have to become the standard. Yes. So where what do you do to become the standard? Because not that easy. I burn a lot of cash. <laughs> that doesn't. That doesn't. No. The, 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 it's it's the complete answer is. First, we go to what we believe are leaders, people who have a, a huge opinion makers, who have a, a big visibility, which is what we did in the wine market. We said we want this winery and no, no other ones. With this, this customer, we go to the 10 next ones, and we say we have him, and then we go to the 20 next ones. So we kind of construct a model where we basically provide the service to the brands, which is it's pretty easy because we, we put in the case as a wines, a little paper saying how it works. But then at some point, your question is, is very good, you have to move to a consumer model, where we are the standard. And so it is our objective to put a chip in every object we use. That's the objective. Now, we have to be smart, we're small, we start with one, one or two sectors, three now, and we start by providing one service, which is anti -carrofy. I think that's a good answer. Yeah. I don't have any other. No, it's good. <laughs> Isn't it going to get easier to make NFC chips than the clones of yours over time? Well, no, because we work, the chips we use come from the banking world. So we, we went to, to talk to a, a chip provider of, of, of bank cards. So their technology is basically what we import and deviate into our system. So you, you have on each chip a little OS which is doing the encryption, which is a hardware encryption. So from that point on, we start working with digital certificates, PKI. So we are at the same level as a, as a bank card. So yeah, you can crack us, but you can crack bank cards. Uh, does, uh, does this contribute to the Internet of Things? Yes. Uh, and then how do you see that as part of your overall growth? Um, if you can repeat the question. Does it contribute to the Internet of Things, and how does it contribute to your overall growth? Yeah, for you. Um, you are collecting lots of data. Well, yeah, I, I think we contribute because, I, I, as I said, I really think what, what has been forgotten today in the Internet of Things is the identification of things. And, and, and we believe it starts from there. So this is our contribution. It's first, we identify things, and then we start doing things with these things. Um, okay. okay, give it to Sorry. Oh, okay. Are you going to manufacture your chips in China? <laughs> No, they're made in France. Uh, so. And can you can you sustain that? If you have uh, 10x growth, is it still going to be made in France? Yeah. Okay. Today they make chips for the, the, the banking world, so they make millions of chips. So when we go and talk to them about small customers, they look at us and okay. What's your so, business here? So sorry. Uh, right here. 
right. I'm, not, I'm not going to challenge the technology. I think it's, you're doing great work here. I'm just going to open a little bit of the perspective here about China. I just flew from China uh, this morning, so I'm a little bit jet lag, a little bit slow. But I spent 10 years there, and I've seen the change of China, which is uh, we're going to manufacture fake goods and sell it uh, to anyone. To now we're going to be actually selling fake goods to the foreign tourists. And all Chinese people are going to the fancy stores, downtown Shanghai, buying things and looking for the real things. So mm -hmm. it's incredible what you have for a market where we would believe that all Chinese people were actually trying to cheat us with fakes, whereas they're all looking for the real deal. They worried about milk powder contamination, uh, they worried about se up to 70% of the alcohol is fake in clubs uh, in Shanghai. So if you if you can actually, I mean, enter the China market with Silicon Valley funding, uh, you've got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant concept. So, I don't know we're, if we're looking at China, of course, as being, you know, but also the Chinese are the first victims of counterfeit. Exactly. The first ones buying counterfeit and stuff. And it just, just one, one question is if a product, because uh, I, I was directly thinking about the implication, even the LV store in the airport of Shanghai was selling fakes, yeah. so they had to close it and all the complexity. So You can close so, it dynamically. Yeah, but, but what happens if I, if I hear about your product, you've launched it, but a product is not available with the tag, or, uh, and, and I believe that therefore it's a fake, so. Well, well that's yeah. where, that's where our model right now is more into luxury brands where it's more manageable. Because it needs to be, how we do it is in the brands where we go in, we start with one product line. So people know that in that product line it's there, and then we go to the next product line. So that's the way to do it. <laughs> you can't go back. Maybe in the wine you can, it's okay. We're, we're, we're almost there, but it's prevention of selling a fake. I'm sorry? It's prevention. Prevention? It's, it's catching it before it sells. Because once it's sold, it's done. You'll never get that back. Someone sells a counterfeit bag for a hundred dollars and it's worth a thousand. You'll never get that back. You're trying to prevent. I don't know. Never mind. Sorry. Let it go. Technology. Yeah. Good. Okay. Maybe. I could be wrong. Thank you. That's good. Thank you so much. Where's your, where's your Let's open this up.